this video is sponsored by Raycon. I love my Raycons, which everyone knows by now. They are perfect for everyday use with 8 hours of playtime and 32 hours of total battery life. That means you can take the good sounds anywhere you go. I use my Raycons for everything from chilling at home and listening to music to taking them on the go and hitting the gym with a range of fun colors to choose from and a variety of fit options. There is something for everyone at Raycon. My favorite thing about these earbuds is the compact design. That means no dangling wires or stems. The design also means that it creates a snug, noise-isolating fit. They feature an easy-to-use tap function to switch between sound profiles as well as to change between noise isolation and awareness mode. Raycon was co-founded by Ray J and celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Mike Tyson and Raffi Daffy are obsessed with their Raycons. Raycon believes good sounds should not break the bank. That's why Raycons start at half the price of the other premium audio brands on the market. For added peace of mind, Raycon has a free return policy. So what are you waiting for? Get in on the Raycon hype today. Go to buyraycon.com slash Raffi or click the link in my description box to enjoy 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring this video and for supporting the ASMR community. Thank you and enjoy tonight's video. Hello there. Hello there and welcome back. Welcome back. I am very excited because we have right here a new, we have a new Blue Yeti microphone and this one is just so gorgeous. It's the white frost color and uh, we have a very important task today. This is fresh out of the box, so it's not really calibrated, and the energies around the microphone are not, how do you say, perhaps tuned, fine-tuned. So that is the job we'll be doing tonight. That is the job we'll be doing tonight, because when this Blue Yeti microphone was born. It didn't know exactly where it would end up. So now that it is in our possession, we will take the time and the care to adjust it to its new home. And what better way to do that than with hand sounds? some careful whispering and of course we'll be taking the time to pack the energies and just check around the microphone yeah see I, I can tell the energies are So, uh, of course, sit back, relax. 
contacts and uh, just let me do all the work. I will make sure that we have this microphone in tip-top shape uh, for the future videos. I will say one thing. Don't hold it against the microphone if you hear a little extra background noise tonight. I have my AC running right now because it is, I usually turn it off. It is simply too hot outside uh, to turn it off tonight. So if you hear a little extra background noise, that's the noise. So don't hold it against the microphone. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. So, we'll start sculpting the energy here on the right side. start working on the other side here and I will be very careful with my whisper. Let's just, there we go. Let's start bringing the energy up. Microphone. The back of the microphone needs some love as well. And the back of the microphone is too often neglected. And it is just as important as any other side. on the finger flutters, you know they're a little difficult. I'm not like GB, she's very good at the finger fluttering. Whoops, hit the microphone. I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> Already, we're what, 10 minutes in? Our first microphone bump, isn't that nice? <laughs> okay, so I've uh, started to massage the energies around. Now let's uh, let's work on packing the energy down. Massage again. Uh, 
let's just loosen up a little bit. Let's check and let's make sure. Yes. just saw me driving by. My window is open today. Would you think someone was crazy if you drove by and saw this? <laughs> There's nothing crazy about this. This is good sounds. And you know, maybe being a little crazy is a good thing. if at any point throughout this microphone energy calibration you start to feel a little tired it is perfectly okay 
okay to close and rest your eyes. We're just probing around just to, I guess, more scientifically speaking, what we're doing is we're aligning the molecules around the microphone just to make sure that they are in the right place. Unfortunately, I have to learn how to do that 
if you've been subscribed a long time, you know my upload schedule. There is no upload schedule. <laughs> uh, because I think I have some undiagnosed, excuse me, I think I have some undiagnosed ADHD or something. Actually, it's kind of diagnosed, but I don't know if I trust the diagnosis because it was very informal with my doctor. And, uh, like, medication doesn't really work for me. So that's why I say maybe I don't have it. I don't know. I'm just a very scattered person. I say all that to just say that uh, it takes a lot of effort for me to, like bring it all together and be on a schedule and I'm doing things like clockwork it's 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 taken a tremendous amount of effort and the way I started the effort hold on one second Energy was a little out of place here, I think. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, where was I? <laughs> ah, yes, the effort. I started it uh, with over the last year, I've been, as you know, working out, just making a lot of to find that structure and I felt like last month was my best month as far as just getting it all together because sometimes I got one side of things working good but the other side isn't working good like my uploads and then sometimes the uploads are going good but the other aspects of my life are out of order last month I really felt it all come together, so I was very excited. So, uh, I think I just needed a little time to decompress, and uh, I took the, ne the next couple weeks and just focused on, like, the gym and stuff like that. So, we're getting back to it today, and, and uh, the plan is to keep it rolling. So, thank you for your patience while I figure all this stuff out. It's, uh, it's not so easy. And, and sometimes I beat myself up too. I'm like, what's wrong with me? Why can't I just be what I want to be? I want to be this image, right? I want to be this person that just gets it all done and has it all together. But I think we can all be the people we want to be, but it's not an easy task. Sometimes, you know, you, you can't really just flip a switch. You have to put the work in, you know, and it takes a tremendous amount of energy and focus. Uh, but just keep trying, keep going. I'm working right besides you. And I know we'll make it. That was just a little ramble.
side note, I think I'm going to do another flight simulator video here, uh, probably tomorrow. I don't know when I'll upload it, but I'll probably record it tomorrow. I was actually very pleased and excited to see how many people loved the video. So maybe we can do a long flight. Uh, maybe like a one hour flight. And maybe I can do like ASMR in between, like while we have the plane and autopilot. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Where should we fly to? I had a lot of fun recording that. kind of different. using my old camera today and it doesn't have the autofocus the other camera has a really good autofocus so this one I'm always unsure if I'm in focus or not but I think I am and the frequencies around the microphone are fine-tuned to our perfect ASMR frequency. And uh, let's give it a nice test with this hand lotion. It's called Coco Cabana Cream. Coco Cabana. Coco Cabana. Coco Cabana. Coco Cabana. like the ultimate trigger word. Would you like some Would you 
some lit sounds. Some lit sounds with the Coco Cabana cream. Some lit sounds with the Coco Cabana cream. sounds with the Coco Cabana cream. Let sounds with the Coco Cabana cream. Some let sounds with the Coco Cabana cream. Some light sounds with the Coco Cabana cream. Coco Cabana cream. Oh, that smells good. Wow, that is amazing. Weirdly enough, it smells like Cabana cream. <laughs> I'm not sure what Coco Cabana cream is, but it just kind of makes sense. It smells exactly how you would think Coco Cabana cream would smell like. Alright, let's take some Coco Cabana cream. I am stealing her Coco Cabana cream. <laughs> Did I get some in my beard? No. That smells amazing. That smells like the summertime. It smells like a pina colada, almost. Ooh, that smells delicious. That smells edible. <laughs> it smells like you could eat that. No, I'm not going to taste it.
smells amazing. Sit back and relax. As we apply the Coco Cabana cream. Coco Cabana cream.
amazing now. <laughs> well, with that said, I hope that you enjoyed tonight's video. very excited uh, to put this Blue Yeti to work. This is our third Blue Yeti. The first one, that was the Silver Blue Yeti era. A lot of legendary videos made on the Silver Blue Yeti era. That was an awesome Raffy Taffy era. That was a young Raffy Taffy. I was uh, still in college and finishing up school, and then I graduated, and then I started working a little bit. And then uh, there was the Blue blue Yeti era. A lot of awesome videos made on the Blue blue Yeti era. That was, uh, that was a beautiful era as well. I was uh, a little older, starting to mature, and uh, started struggling a little bit, actually, towards the end of the Blue Yeti era, the Blue Blue Yeti era. And uh, I would soon have to start finding my way and working towards a better version of myself. And uh, I feel like I'm finally getting there. And uh, so now, we are starting the White Frost Blue Yeti era. And this might be the most exciting Blue Yeti era yet because this Blue Yeti era will see, I think, a more consistent Raffy Taffy. A Raffy Taffy that is around the YouTube channel a lot more often. A Raffy Taffy that I don't want to say is happier because I've always been a happy person, but I had to find, uh, I guess you can say, the way to sustain happiness in a sustainable way and have to be a lot more intentional about it. It's also a healthier Raffy Taffy, both physically and mentally. Uh, so, I'm excited. I am excited for the White Frost Blue Yeti era. And it is part of the reason why I got the new Blue Yeti. Because I, I know it's the same microphone that we've had for a long time, but it's not the same person I'm... I'm growing as a person, and I wanted to welcome in a new era of good sounds with a new Blue Yeti microphone. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you everyone that's been here witnessing, supporting, you know, these city, these silly little videos that I make, they're lighthearted. It's not that serious and we're just here enjoying some nice, good sounds. Uh, but I try to let my real person shine through, even through just the little silly videos we make. You know, I put myself and my, my heart out there for everyone to see. And more recently, I've put out my struggles, too, for people to see. It's not easy uh, finding our way through this life. I think I, you know, at some point I just started kind of having an existential crisis. <laughs> and I just had to really ask myself, what's my purpose? Why? Why? Why am I doing this? Why? Why am I not feeling my best? 
And part of that was that, well, I wasn't very healthy uh, before I started losing weight and working out every day. I was, uh, I had gotten my blood work done at the doctor's office and she told me, you are pre-diabetic, so you are on the verge of becoming a diabetic patient and needing insulin every day. And, um, that was kind of a, I guess, I don't want to say a shock because I didn't, it's not like I thought I was healthy, you know, I was aware that, you know, my lifestyle was not conducive to being healthy, but, um, it was kind of a wake up call, you know, and, um, uh, it's from that day forward, I just flipped a switch, you know, and it was like, okay, you know, maybe part of the reason why I'm not happy is because I'm not healthy. That comes first. You can't really, it's kind of hard to be health, to be the happiest you can be if you're not healthy. So I got to work on my health, but that was only part of the equation. Yes, I did feel amazingly better, but that's not everything, right? There's, there's a mental component to this all. And, um, as intentional as you have to be in the gym, you have to be intentional with your thoughts and your attitude and just working on yourself in every regard. So let's welcome in the white Blue Yeti era. <laughs> I'm excited to see what it becomes. I love you all so much. Thank you, you guys. Give me a tremendous amount of strength. And it is through your help that I am able to work on myself. And it is because of you as well. Of course, I want to do it for myself, for my loved ones, for my family. But I want to do it for you guys too. That's what keeps me motivated. So... I love you guys so much. If you're struggling out there, I'm right there, right next to you, working every day to get better. You have the strength to get and become everything you ever want. I love you. Thank you. And I shall see you in the next video.